Through Jesus Christ, we have come to know the love and forgiveness of God. Let us share that love now with one another. The peace of Christ be with you. I think it's always wonderful when we are able to sing hymns that aren't normally in our worship service. You all get extra credit if you knew that second verse by heart. <laughs> welcome to Second Presbyterian Church and welcome to this service of worship. Second is a welcoming community of faith where Jesus Christ transforms lives. So whether you are here with us this morning or joining us via the live stream, we hope this service speaks a word of peace for you today. I'll invite you to please find the Red Ritual of Friendship folder that's in your pew to write down your name, mark your presence here, and then share that with the people seated beside you so that you might learn their names. And then if this is your first time in worship with us, there is a blue and white information card that is in the pew rack ahead of you. We would appreciate it if you would fill that out and then place it in the offering plate as it comes by later. That helps us to welcome you particularly into this community. I will draw your attention to two brief things in our bulletin. First is a congregational meeting that will take place at 1045 next Sunday, July 29th. This will be right after the conclusion of the 930 service, right before the 11 o'clock service starts. So we will have both in here at once. This is for the purpose of drawing to a close Dr. Lewis Galloway's t uh, service to this congregation. We've had occasion to have a fair few number of uh, congregational meetings lately celebrating the coming of our new senior pastor, uh, Reverend Henry. But this is going to be a bitter, bittersweet day in which this congregation must formally request of the uh, Whitewater Valley Presbytery the dissolution of Lewis's relationship with this congregation. I've heard some scheming taking place, people saying if we don't, have, if we don't come and we don't have quorum, then he can't leave. And I promise that's not true. It'll just make, <laughs> it'll just make it a little bit more frustrating. 
he's going to North Carolina. They have their place. <laughs> he's excited to be there. But we'll join together in a prayerful um, and joy-filled service of thanking him for his uh, ministry here. The second is um, uh, an announcement that is somewhat of a request from the pastoral care department. For some time now, hospitals have been unable to proactively share with us information about members of our church or friends of this community who are in the hospital. And so our request to you is that if you or a loved one or a friend um, are going in for uh, a procedure, for surgery, um, going through testing for some chronic illness or find the, uh, you know, are in, in an inpatient situation in a hospital, please do let us know. Call the church or send us a note through our uh, online prayer portal that we might be able to provide that care for you. And on a related note, we also, the entire pastoral staff, make regular uh, visits to folks who are in retirement communities this does not include people in independent living. I should be clear about that. But for folks that are in assisted living, memory care, skilled nursing, we like to make regular visits. And so if you know of anyone that might value a visit in that way, please do let us know. And for anyone joining us on the live stream, by clicking the heart button above your bulletin, you can submit that information to us that way. Friends, thank you for your help in helping our staff take care of the people of this church. I almost forgot. I'll invite the children to come forward now. <laughs> Last but not least.